Insta360 have just released their new Go 3. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what it is, what it does, what's included, and how it can be used to capture your motorcycle ventures, whether on or off the bike. Just quickly before we get started, this video is sponsored by Insta360, so it isn't a review by any means, but a video highlighting the features of this awesome little camera. That said, let's get into it. First of all, what is it? The Insta360 GO 3 combines impressive performance with a compact, durable, and magnetic design. You can effortlessly wear it to capture hands-free, immersive, first-person point-of-view videos, or easily mount it anywhere using the included versatile accessories. It takes everything that made the GO 2 a hit and adds even better battery life, a cool extremely handy action pod, and more exciting features. In the box you receive the Insta360 GO 3 with the lens guard already attached, the action pod, the pivot stand, the easy clip, a charge cable, the magnetic pendant, and the quick start guide with the warranty card, some stickers, and all that good stuff. The camera itself weighs in at only 35 grams and shoots up to 2.7K 30 frames a second or 50 frames a second when shooting in 1080 or 1440p. And thanks to its larger battery, it now shoots up to 45 minutes, which is 50% longer than the Go 2. The magnetic pendant or easy clip makes for an immersive, hands-free, ultra-wide point of view. I took the Go 3 camping with me a few days ago and used it to capture a few POV sequences by clipping the easy clip to my beanie, press and record, and going about my task. Press once to record, once to stop, and hold down for two seconds to turn it off. The magnetic pendant is great for those chest height angles and also makes it easier to wear in public without drawing too much attention to yourself. An angle adjustment insert is also included if you need to tilt the camera angle. And because the Go 3 is magnetic, you can stick it on your bike, wherever. And there you go, you got a shot. There's an angle, right there. So simple, so easy, so good. So have fun experimenting with different locations without the fuss of setting up a tripod. There is also no more limitations to the maximum single clip length, thanks to improved heat dissipation, which is always nice, one less thing to worry about. There's a reusable sticky base for the pivot stand, which makes it super simple for mounting in creative locations. Now it's not recommended to mount the Go 3 to your motorcycle and go for a ride using just the sticky base or the magnet itself. It just isn't strong enough and you most likely will lose your camera. Ah, just like that. But don't worry, there is a way to do it and I'll show you in just a moment. The brand new multifunctional action pod takes the Go 3's battery life from the already improved 45 minutes to a massive 170 minutes. The action pod also has a flip touch screen, which is perfect for vlogging. The screen also doubles up as a remote control and viewfinder for when you mount the Go 3 separately. Usually you'd have to pair it with your phone to be able to see what the camera is seeing, so the remote viewfinder comes in really handy. The audio has also been improved with two built-in mics, capturing vlog-ready audio from all around you. Yo, 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 this is the audio test, audio test, straight out of the camera, no EQ, no nothing, just a good old time. The amount of planes, there's, there's so many planes, I, I can't believe, I'm trying to camp here, it's just constant planes, I don't know what to do. And also has three levels of flow state stabilization. This is the stabilization test, I am running, and this is on level one, this is on level one, hang on, that's on level one, let me change it, I'll put on level two, okay. Uh, this is level two. The only drawback from increasing your stabilization is that you have a bit more of a latency, a bit, of, a bit more of a lag on the back of your screen. This is level three with an extremely high preview delay half oh, the back of the screen. You're not going to worry about it right now. You don't care. As long as it's stable, you're stoked. Oh gosh. <sighs> this is the low light test. It's um, it's there's not much light going on at the moment and. You know, with tiny little action cameras, this would have the tiniest sensor, I'm sure. You're not going to get heaps of light hitting that sensor, so it's going to be a bit dark and a bit grainy maybe right now. But yeah, this is it. I don't know how it looks. Oh, yes, I do. How's it look? Yeah, it's not too bad. I think even my, my full-on proper camera camera is like definitely struggles in this, in this as well. The Go3 is waterproof up to 16 feet, and the Action Pod is IPX4 water resistant with the Go3 installed. The Action Pod itself has a magnetic quick release base, which makes mounting it to and from your helmet extremely simple. Once it's mounted, hit record and head off on your ride. The great thing about the Go3 is that it vibrates when you press record and it can be felt throughout the helmet so you definitely know when it's recording and when it isn't. If you prefer a more minimal setup on your helmet to save weight, ditch the Action Pod and just rock the Go3. Remember how I mentioned that it's not recommended 
to mount the Go 3 to your motorcycle and go for a ride using just the sticky base or the magnet itself. Well, the quick release system is your ticket for some interesting angles. The quick release system has a quarter inch thread which can be used with your ball mount out of your moto bundle kit. Although the Go 3 is a great simple way to capture content of your ride, the only downside is that you can't connect the external microphone directly to it. There's just, there's just no holes. If you would like to chat while riding or capture those sweet sounds of your exhaust pipes, then I'd suggest using a separate audio device to record your audio and sync it up later in post. Also, please take note that the quick release system that I'm using here is sold separately on the Insta360 store. And at the time of making this video, I'm told that they have very limited stock with a large batch coming in late July. Due to the memory being built in, the Go 3 doesn't need an SD card, which is really cool, but it is priced according to the memory size. The Go 3 has so many more features like AI editing, voice control 2.0, plus a whole bunch of different shooting options that if I went through all of them, we'd be here all day. The Go 3 is an all-round extremely versatile camera. Being able to capture my ride, then simply removing it from my helmet and using it to vlog with the added benefit of hands-free POV means I'll definitely be adding the Go 3 to my camera bag. If you'd like to see the full vlog of my camping trip using the Go 3, that'll be up in a couple of days. I'll link it here once it's, once it's up. And the ASMR version will be up on my other channel tomorrow, where you'll be able to hear how crispy the microphone quality is, along with some sweet POV angles, which I've never been able to capture before. So it's gonna be an interesting one. If this video helped you in your decision to purchase the Insta360 Go 3, I have an affiliate link in the description below where I receive a small kickback from each purchase at no extra cost to you, and it helps the channel a tremendous amount. So thank you in advance and a massive shout out to those who have already used my affiliate links in the past. I really do appreciate it. Helps me out, helps, it helps everything, it helps life. So thank you. So what are your thoughts on the new Go 3? Will it be making its way to your camera bag for some sweet POV action? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next vid. See ya.